This is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus, section 9.1 in Precalc, which is sequences and series. Uh, so the last bit of stuff we're going to do uh, in this section is to just talk about the difference between a finite series and an infinite series. So the difference is fundamentally just what the top bound is, what this upper limit is, right? So what makes this series finite is that it only goes up to the a sub nth term and stops. n could be 100, n could be a million, n could be 100 million billion doesn't matter, still finite, it stops at a specific number. An infinite series has an infinity as the upper uh, summation bound, right? Uh, meaning that it has this ellipsis at the end and it goes on forever. So this finite series, right, that I copied back down here, is also called the nth partial sum of the infinite series that I also copied back down here. So uh, again, an infinite series goes on forever, but if you only wanted the sum of the first n terms, you could use the finite series and call this the nth partial sum. Meaning if you wanted the first 10 terms, you'd call it the 10th partial sum. Or the first three terms, you'd call it the third partial sum. So you're only using the first handful of terms, right? So what we're going to do uh, in our last little thing in this section before we move on to 9.2 is we're going to go ahead and find... Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and talk about how to find the sum of uh, the sum of a finite series. So, um, cool. So let's actually look at uh, let's look at an example fifteen. Right? We're going to look at the infinite series uh, from i is one to infinity of let's do a uh, let's do a two Mm, yeah. Let's do a 7 over 10 to the i, okay? So, um, we'll talk, uh, we can actually talk about how to find this, you can find this infinite, uh, you can find this infinite sum with some logic, so we're gonna do two different things, okay? So part A, we're gonna find, uh, the third partial sum, meaning the first three terms, okay? And then uh, we're going to figure out the actual uh, sum of the infinite series. And we're going to figure that out um, with some logic because until we get to 9.3, you don't technically have the math to figure this out. But I think you can figure it out by visual inspection, which as always just means use in your eyeballs. So let's find the third partial sum first. And I think once we find that, we're going to be able to start to find some patterns. So what the third partial sum is going to look like, right? So this third partial sum would be the sum from i is 1 to 3, right, of 7 over 10 to the i, right? Um, so what that's going to look like is a 7 over 10 to the first, right, plus a 7 over 10 to the second, plus a 7 over 10 to the third. Now this is one of those rare times that I'm going to tell you that it's probably easier to consider this as decimals, but it's up to you. You could either do this as decimals and realize this is a 0.7 plus a 0.07 plus a 0.007, right? Which would totally be a 0.777, right? You could do it that way. Or if you like common denominators and fractions better, you could say, oh, I realize that this needs to be multiplied by 100. So this is 700 over 1,000. Plus, this would need to be multiplied by 10. So 70 over 1,000 plus 7 over 1,000, in which case you would get that this is 777 over 1,000, which hopefully would just jet you right back down to that answer, right? Okay, so now... Again, you don't technically know enough math to find the uh, to use the official method to find the sum of this, but I would argue by visual inspection that we can find the sum. So we already know that we have a 0.777 because the first term was a 0 .0, uh, 0 0.7 and the second term was a 0 0.07 and the third term was a 0 0.007. I'm going to argue that the next term, right, would have been a 0 0.0007 and that the next term would be a point zero 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 seven, and that the next term would be a point zero 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 seven, right? Dot, 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 ad infinitum, which means to infinity. So based on visual inspection, I think we can figure out that what this thing sums to is a point seven repeating, right? This thing sums to a 0.7 repeating. And actually, and it does, and, and the answer is if you were finding this as a fraction, it would end up being 7 ninths, which is what 0.7 is repeating. Uh, and I can walk you through when we get to 9.3 how we actually find that this is a 7 ninths. Uh, but 
so this thing is actually a seven ninths, which is a seven, a 0.7 repeating. Okay. Um, so, uh, again, this is an example of a partial sum. It was only the first three terms. This is an example of an infinite sum. You can't find most infinite sums. Uh, in fact, an entire branch of BC calc, an entire part of what we do in BC calc is, is trying to find out if a series does what we call converge, which means sum to a finite value like this does, or diverge, which means sums to an infinite value, and we can't find that value. In most cases, we can't find the value either way. There's only certain special kinds of series that we can find a sum for, and this is one of them. So this is a specific kind of series called a geometric series, and we're going to uh, talk about what that looks like when we get to 9.3.